Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Jesse Jobadi Bayo, and I'm using this medium to speak about eternity. And uh, the purpose of this channel is to prepare people for eternity. And I pray that as we are on the journey to eternity, God will help us in Jesus' name. Today, I want to talk on a wasted lifetime. A wasted lifetime. I want you to know that no matter what you may achieve, no matter what you may gain in this life, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have lived and you have wasted your lifetime. Now, many people feel, oh, let me just live the life. Let me just enjoy myself. Let me just do that thing that pleases me. I have the money. I have the fame. So if there's this uh, feeling of being everything, having everything. So they have this feeling that they don't need God. And they live every day like God doesn't really matter. Like I said, the title of this is uh, A Wasted Lifetime. I want, to, I want to give a very classical example. 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ was born, he preached to some set of people, Oh, accept me as your Lord and Savior. I'm going to save you. Just believe in me. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you life. I was to, I'm talking about when Jesus Christ was alive 2000 years ago. You know Jesus Christ preached to some people, Pharisees, Sadducees, many people. Just believe in me and I, I'll give you eternal life. But many of them did not believe. You know, just the son of a carpenter, just a random guy. Jesus, who is he? Maybe those people that time, the people who rejected Jesus, they had the latest camel. Of course, they didn't have the cars and Lamborghinis and Bugattis we have now. But maybe they had the best camels. They, they wore the best clothes. Okay, They lived in the best mansions. They were the most famous people 2,000 years ago when Jesus was alive. And they felt, oh, we have the fame. We you know that time they were spending coins. There was no paper money that time. Oh, they had all the gold and coins and silver and everything. So they felt, oh, they, they were the happening guys. Just like the way some people feel now. Jesus told them 2,000 years ago, I've come to save you. Accept me. No. They thought they had it all. They rejected Jesus. I try to imagine where those people are now. I'm talking about the people that Jesus preached to while he was on earth, who rejected him. They are definitely in hell. And let me tell you, all what they had, all the, the money they had, the, the, the fame they had, the houses, of what use it to them now? I'm, you know, I'm still talking about people who lived 2,000 years ago when Jesus was alive. Those who rejected Jesus and said, Jesus, we don't need you. Maybe they had power, they were political leaders, they were religious leaders. They had everything that anybody could have. But they didn't have Jesus in their life. Now, 2,000 years later, all those things that those people had, the, the donkeys, the camel, the gold, the popularity, that made them reject Jesus 2,000 years ago, I'm sure those things are the things that will make them regret now. Because I'm sure the majority of them definitely didn't make it to heaven. They rejected Jesus, so they will go to hell. So those people now, do you think what they had that time, 2,000 years ago, do you think it's going to have any value to them now? No. So I'm speaking to you out there. You're being warned to come to Jesus Christ Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you feel, oh no, I don't I have the money, I have the fame, I have everything, I have the houses. What do I need Jesus for? 
We're all going to leave this place one day. And we'll realize how important Jesus is. You know, when a person finally dies and enters eternity, I'm talking about people who didn't believe in Jesus. When they finally die and enter eternity and they end up in hellfire and they are burning, they now realize, it is at that point they realize that they have lived a wasted lifetime. Now, it, it may seem like everybody is equal. It may seem like everybody is living, is living life. Now, it may seem like those who are rejecting Jesus Christ are the wisest guys. Why we who follow Jesus don't know what we are doing. But in eternity, that is where we know those who were truly wise and those who were truly foolish. I want you to know that if you fail to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, no matter what you may have in this life, you will discover that one day you have lived a wasted lifetime. You have, if, 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 you are, if, you, if you go to eternity without believing in Jesus Christ, you will realize that you have wasted your lifetime. As you're born in the flames of hell, you begin to remember all the sermons, you begin to remember all the warnings, you begin to remember all those times you laughed at the preacher. Then it will dawn on the sinner in hell. What a wasted lifetime. What a wasted lifetime. This is always the pain of every sinner in hell now. They had the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ, but they felt, oh no. The best and easiest way to waste your life is to reject Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You will leave everything behind. Everything. Everything you have struggled for, everything you have labored for, everything that is making you feel, oh, I have it all. You will leave everything everything behind and if you don't have that one thing that is the most important thing jesus christ if you die as a sinner and you go to hell you will realize that you have wasted your lifetime god is warning you come to him today so that you will not waste your lifetime because in eternity this reality we done on everyone who rejected Christ. Don't waste your lifetime. You know, they say change is some, the only thing that is constant. That only applies to this earth. Once you die and leave this earth, change is not constant again. Once you enter eternity, if you don't go, if you are not a child of God and your name is not written in the book of life, you are going to be in hell forever. And there's going to be no change again. No on earth we say change is the only thing that is constant. There is no change again. That is why the best thing any man can do with his life is to prepare for eternity. Live a holy life and live for Jesus Christ. If you are listening to me, you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Bow down your head and say with me. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I say bye-bye to say, forgive me of my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Wash away all my sins with your blood. Have mercy upon me. Save my soul, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. You are not a child of God. Get yourself a Bible. Read it for yourself and meditate on it. Also go to a Bible-believing church where the truth of God's word is being taught. And live a holy life. Prepare for the rapture. Two things will take people from this life. Either death or the rapture. Prepare for either of these two. Any of these two can take place. Death can come at any time. Rapture can take place at any time. Remember, if you do not prepare for eternity, eternity is preparing for you.